<laughs> yep, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got here. Well, it's a long story. But like most things, it started with an idea. An idea to create the computer desk of my dreams. But I'm getting ahead of myself a little. Let's start back at the beginning. First things first, I had to build the drawer unit, which supports the left side of the desk. Specifically, this is the Alex drawer unit from Ikea. And I went with white because it matches the room nicely. And white doesn't show dust as easily. So it's usually my preferred color for this type of thing. This whole project has been weeks in the making. It took a while for my Ikea delivery to show up. So I spent the time creating a detailed diagram of the room. Completely to scale, by the way. So by the time Airfane arrived, I was ready to make my dream into a reality. All of the components of this desk were purchased from Ikea, and I bought each part separately to create the exact desk configuration I wanted. This drawer unit was the most time-consuming part, since it had to be assembled. But out of all of the Ikea furniture I put together over the years, it wasn't too bad. However, I did make one mistake while building it. As I went to put the drawers in, I discovered the whole thing was upside down. And because the top and bottom panels are very specific, I had to quickly swap them. But once that was taken care of, everything came together perfectly. And there you have it. One Alex drawer unit fully assembled. But that was probably the easiest part of this project. Next, we have to get the desk surface set up and attached properly. Which is easier said than done. But before we can get to that, we need to clear out and prepare the area. I sure am happy to see my old desk go. I can't even remember where I got it, probably off of Amazon, but it was never the sturdiest thing in the world. Whenever someone would come walking through the room, the entire thing would shake like you wouldn't believe. It's also kind of cramped, plus I never liked the L shape. Not only will my new desk offer a much more ergonomic working environment, but I'll actually have drawers I can use to store things. But once I had all that cleared out, I used this opportunity to hang up some art. I'm going for form and function with my new setup. So I got these cool canvas art pieces from PokemonCenter.com. But they contain a secret. I wanted the walls to look good. I also wanted to have some type of acoustic foam hung like I used to. So I had the genius idea to combine the two. Hidden inside each frame is high density acoustic foam I purchased from Amazon. I'm extremely happy with how they turned out. Then after taking some measurements and making sure everything is level, the walls look better than I could have expected. Now that we have the aesthetics figured out, it's time to finish setting up the actual desk. But first, if you are still watching, it would really help me out if you would consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Subscribing is free, and it shows that you are really enjoying my content. Now on to the rest of the video. Finally, we can drag in the massive desk surface and attempt to set it up. I went larger than a traditional desk, this one. It's 63 inches wide and almost 32 inches deep. I wanted to have plenty of space, and this was one of the largest desk surfaces I could get. The last two components of this desk are the two legs I purchased to support the right side. Some people usually put a drawer unit on each end, but I thought that might crowd me a little. So using legs on one side felt like the better option, and also saved me a little money. After screwing on a couple metal plates, the legs attached pretty easily. Then I was able to rest the other side on the drawer unit and things were starting to come together nicely. However, the next bit was harder than I expected. I needed to attach the desk surface to the drawer unit, but lining up the screw holes was easier said than done. After messing with it for quite a while, I was finally able to get the screws to go in properly. Now the desk was fully assembled, but that's not the end of this story. I now need to drill three 2-inch holes into the desk surface to insert the desk grommets I purchased. One has a couple USB ports and a 3 prong outlet for powering devices. I thought it would be cool to have some power easily accessible from the top of the desk. And the other two grommets are just holes for cables to pass through. The first hole was really hard to drill and took quite a bit of effort. The far left and right sides of the desk are solid wood. So getting through was a bit tricky for this first one. Fun fact, putting down some painter's tape before drilling will help keep the edges of the hole from chipping as much, so it will come out much cleaner. But even though this first hole took some extra effort, it came out perfectly and the power grommet just slid into place. 
The second hole was actually really easy, since the middle of the desk is mostly just cardboard. And luckily it also came out really nice. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy, so I used quite a bit of force and the drill just punched right through. But nothing extra got damaged and the hole was exactly how I wanted it. The last hole also went really well. This one actually hit half wood and half cardboard, so it took a little extra effort, but it wasn't too bad. I also used a little super glue around the edges of the cable grommets, so they wouldn't pull out as easily. Then, once that dried, they felt secure and looked awesome. With that part finished, the desk itself is fully assembled. Now we just have to get it into place and get my computer set up. Plus, I also wanted to do some serious cable management. But before we do anything else, this desk needs some RGB. I got a light strip that should do the trick nicely. I'm able to plug it into the outlet on the wall to the left of the desk and adhere it all the way around the left and back edges. I figured that would create a nice glow effect against the wall once the desk is in its final position. I also got this white monitor stand to match the desk. After playing around with it for a little bit, I was able to get my monitors mounted and the cables managed nicely. One of the monitor cables ended up being a little too short, but I was able to eventually purchase an extension to fix that. I then played around with the locations of some of the other pieces, like my mic and recording lights. I also purchased a Linus Tech Tips desk pad from LTTstore.com, which I think completes the look I was going for. My battery backup also fits nicely in the space behind the drawer unit, which helped hide some of the cables. At this point, I was mostly trying to get the computer functional again. But after hooking this up, I did some intense cable management off camera. And after a few days of figuring out how I wanted everything, I think it all came out looking amazing. Well, there you have it. I couldn't be happier with how everything turned out. There were a few stressful moments, but it all came together in the end. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I encourage you to stick around and check out some of the other videos on my channel. Here's one that YouTube thinks you may enjoy, and here's a playlist where I fully completed the Battle Frontier in Pokemon Emerald. But, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, noon, or night whatever time it is for you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.